even though Carlos Santana has recorded 30 albums, nine of which went platinum and 16 of which went gold, he's lost none of the high-powered energy that has long characterized his work. His latest is Spirits Dancing in the Flesh. Carlos, good, good morning. Good seeing you. Good morning. Good to see you. Yeah. It's been, uh, we were looking at the, um, the bio back there. It's been 22, 23 years since you started doing this, uh, since we first started hearing about you. Has music changed an awful lot since then, your music? Uh, yes, it has. I, I have been to a lot of places like Africa, Istanbul, Jerusalem, Japan. And every time you go there, if you walk around the streets, you're bound to pick up some things that you want to take home and put them into your music, like collars or palettes or moods or chords or melodies, whatever, yeah. you know. Is that why what, I read your music characterized today as non-mainstream music? You buy that definition? That's a great compliment. You know, I think, because I think the best music always comes from the university or the street. Yeah. You are part of a trivia question. I saw a note that you are one of only eight acts to have a top ten LP in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Is the 90s still possible or has the marketplace changed too much for that? I think that in a, in a day when we, li when we live, there's uh, an ocean of McDonald's, we definitely need a five-star restaurant, you know. My cue to get out of here. What are you <laughs> going to perform for us from the album? This is called Spirits Dancing in the Flesh. Okay, title suit.
Carlos Santana. We're back in a moment.